Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now, this week's episode. Take the seven day Stargazer Astronomy Challenge. Hey there, Stargazers. I'm Dean Regis, Outreach Astronomer for the Cincinnati Observatory, and I'll be your guide to the sky this month on Stargazer. I know that observing the night sky can be kind of intimidating at first. With so many stars and so many planets, where do you begin? This week, I want you to get to know three stars, the moon and the planet of spring. I call it the Stargazer 7-Day Challenge. I guarantee that if you watch the sky every night for seven days, you'll not only get to know the major stars, but some minor workings of the heavens as well. And once you get a foothold in the stars, the sky's the limit. Let's get started. Okay, we have our skies set for Friday night, May 13th, looking high in the southeast. Let's start with the moon, which is in its waxing gibbous phase. This means that the moon is almost full. From night to night, the moon will shift ever eastward across the stars. What I mean is that on Friday night, the moon will be just to the right of Saturn. But by Saturday night, at the same time, it will have moved closer to the bright blue star Spica. Each night, the moon shifts closer to the eastern horizon. Here it is on the 15th, the 16th, and 17th. In fact, the moon rises about 50 minutes later each night. In other words, when you find the moon tonight, it will take about 24 hours and 50 minutes to return to a similar place in the sky. The stars and the planets won't move that fast, and one of the stars of spring is bright orange Arcturus. Arcturus is the brightest star in the constellation called Boötes. Now take special care when pronouncing Boötes, because he is not amused if you mispronounce his name. Although Boötes looks more like a really wide necktie, the ancients pictured a guy chasing after a big bear. Well, where's the big bear? You might better recognize it as the Big Dipper, which stands almost straight overhead. The Big Dipper is the rear end and tail of the Big Bear, Ursa Major. In fact, the Big Dipper makes a perfect pointer to locate Arcturus in the sky. Just use the stars of the Big Dipper's handle to guide you. Follow the arc of the handle to Arcturus. Pretty catchy, eh? Well, we're not done yet. After you follow the arc to Arcturus, continue and straighten the line out from Arcturus and you'll come to a bright blue star called Spica. Spica is the brightest star in the constellation Virgo the Maiden. Even though Virgo is one of the largest constellations in the sky, her starry outline is tough to imagine. But Spica makes up for Virgo's obscurity as it twinkles radiantly in the southeast. So to find Spica, start with the Big Dipper again, follow the arc to Arcturus, and then hit a spike to Spica. Okay, that's not quite as catchy, but maybe it'll help anyway. Finally, let's get back to the planet I mentioned earlier, beautiful ringed Saturn. Saturn shines with a steady yellow light in the May evenings, about 13 degrees higher in the sky than Spica. Saturn and Spica are almost identical in brightness, with Saturn just barely edging out the big blue star. Saturn has to be the most amazing planetary system we know of, with a dynamic surface full of swirling storms and auroras, 61 known moons, and oh, those rings. These pictures were taken by the Cassini spacecraft in orbit around Saturn, but you have got to see Saturn for yourself in a telescope. It will definitely make you say, wow. Keep an eye on Saturn this month because it will wander near another star in the constellation Virgo, a dimmer star named Parima. The retrograde motion of Saturn will move it to within half a degree of Parima in June. You'll be able to see Saturn, some of its brighter moons like Titan and Rhea, along with Parima in the same view of a small telescope. You gotta check it out. So follow the arc to Arcturus and hit a spike to Spica tonight, and you'll see two super spring stars. During the week, watch the moon move steadily across the sky from day to day and find sensational Saturn near the dimmer star in Virgo, Porima. Remember, take my seven-day stargazer challenge and I guarantee you'll keep looking up.